Pinky Malinky is creating a lot of buzz on Netflix. And even like this! The new kids show is Netflix's attempt at creating a likable cartoon similar to the amazing world of Gumball. But is it really that great? Most cartoons seem to have a lot of adult or immature humor, and Pinky Malinky isn't that different. Stay tuned to find out more about the show, get some examples of weird and inappropriate jokes, I'm a hot dog, and check out what the critics think of Pinky Malinky. Whoa, weird. About Pinky Malinky. Pinky Malinky is the newest Netflix original show. Of course, it's only new for some people because others have been waiting a long time to see it come to life. Pinky Malinky was actually meant to be broadcast on Nickelodeon. Before it finally aired on Netflix, it went through several production delays. It was actually officially announced in 2016, but it took three years for it to finally take off. The wacky, fast-paced cartoon focuses on Pinky Malinky, the talking and walking hot dog. So that we can make ours taste exactly the same. Uh... Who creates YouTube-style vlogs with his friends. His voice might sound familiar to you. It belongs to Lucas Grabeel, known for his role as Ryan Evans in High School Musical. Pinky the hot dog has surprisingly human characters around him, like his grandmother, Kathy Malinky, who's played by Miranda Richardson. You might know her from playing Rita Skeeter in the one and only Harry Potter. iCarly's Nathan Cress plays J.J. Jameson, one of Pinky's best friends. Other characters include Babs, Mrs. Malinky, Mr. Malinky, and many, many more. Every character is part of Pinky's crazy adventures. Pinky Malinky is actually very similar to The Amazing World of Gumball. The two shows actually share a creator. Chris Garbutt worked on both shows, which explains the strange humor that takes some time to get used to. Before we check out some examples of the strange humor you'll find on the show, let's see how Pinky Malinky was perceived by the critics. We are going to reverse engineer Poppins. Ah, science. Common Sense Media states that the show features a lot of absurdity without real-world sensibility. There appears to be a lot of name-calling along with making fun of Pinky's actual hot dog look. Although Common Sense Media praises different animation styles, it states that the storyline is slightly underwhelming. Pinky tends to do a lot of his stuff from his house, where he is often supervised by his parents. Decider.com says the pace of the show is definitely quick, but what would attract the kids are the bold and colorful animations. However, they pointed out that the show's strange sense of humor might be hard to translate to the kids and to the parents. The review also states the vlog format brings more style rather than substance to the show. Another review comes from the ReviewGeek.com, which also highlights the quick pace of the show. Although the characters get quickly established, the review states the show then becomes a jumbled mess of different jokes, styles of humor, and tonally inconsistent narratives. The review also notes that the show features toilet humor as well as jokes about corporate greed and capitalism, which would definitely go over the kids' heads. According to the Review Geek, the above factors make the show a bit difficult to recommend. So let's check out some of these jokes the critics are talking about, shall we? The theme song. We're going to start with the theme song because, let's be honest, it's the first thing we hear. Sure, it's funny and it's upbeat, but is it really made for kids? It's a pretty simple and quick theme song. The song basically introduces Pinky Malinky as someone who always looks at the bright side of life. Nothing wrong with that, right? But then the singers just start screaming wiener over and over again. Sure, it might seem funny to kids, but we have a feeling no parent wants their child to sing that song. Imagine a kid singing this in public. Even some of the YouTube comments aren't sure of the show or this song. One user posted that this seems like a strange show. Another joke that breakfast will never be the same again. We have a feeling kids will look at eating hot dogs in an entirely different way after this. Let's just hope the theme song doesn't get stuck in their heads. Parents might have a lot of trouble getting their kid to stop singing about wieners. A hot dog. The inappropriate jokes start the moment you see the first scenes of the first episode. The pilot episode of any cartoon show is always a hit or miss. It's when the characters get briefly introduced, but it might take a few episodes before they're fully developed. What we do know about Pinky Malinky is that he's a hot dog. He literally says it himself in the trailer of the show. He's a hot dog. But what's inappropriate is the way he poses during his introduction. Pinky's using suggestive poses to show his audience that he really is a hot dog. I'm a hot dog. As in, he thinks he's hot, aka totally gorgeous. That's definitely not the language kids should be using. 
especially not when they're describing themselves or anyone else. Not to mention those poses seem way too mature for a character who is clearly still just in school. This joke is pretty obvious, but in our opinion, it shouldn't really be meant for kids. Way too gruesome. The trailer has plenty of moments that already showcase just how crazy this cartoon might be. In fact, it can even be traumatic to see. Like this moment, which clearly shows Pinky going through something extreme. We feel you, buddy. We all want to do this sometimes. He's waiting in front of the principal's office, and he pretty much feels how we all feel in school. Then Pinky randomly takes off his skin and reveals the so-called inside of a hot dog. Seriously, we weren't prepared for this moment. He pulls off his skin, which includes eyes and mouth. This guy has some serious aggression he needs to let out from his school environment. Either way, this might just be a little bit too much for kids to even see. Isn't it scary just to look at him like this? Of course, he returns to normal just a second later, but that doesn't mean that this so-called joke won't leave some kids totally traumatized. We don't even peel a real-life hot dog to see what's inside. Ice Bucket Challenge Netflix's YouTube channel has plenty of extra Pinky Malinky clips, like this one, which focuses on describing Pinky's ultimate year, similar to YouTube Rewind. The clip also features a couple of seconds of the popular Ice Bucket Challenge from 2014. Well, a weird variation of the Ice Bucket Challenge, you know, from the internet. The two characters are basically shown doing an Ice Bucket Challenge, but it appears to be completely different from the challenge you might know. Although this was definitely supposed to be a joke, it mocks what the Ice Bucket challenge was originally about anyways. In case you don't remember, the challenge was created by the ALS Association in order to promote awareness of the motor neuron disease. It involves dumping a bucket of ice and water over a person's head, nominating another person to do it, and encouraging people to donate to the cause. Young kids that would watch Pinky Malinky definitely would not even know about the Ice Bucket Challenge since it happened so long ago. Hopefully none of them think this is the actual challenge. Okay, which one's the bucket of ice? Huh? Huh? That one. Correct. We're not really sure what's happening in those few seconds, but this joke didn't translate very well. Hopefully the kids understand the actual meaning behind the Ice Bucket Challenge. Weird Social Media Humor you can pretty much find strange jokes in every single episode, so let's focus on those that the kids wouldn't really understand or get the wrong idea. Like this weird social media humor moment. Pinky Malinky also has his own YouTube channel in real life, which was created back in 2016 when the show was first pitched. It features short clips with a somewhat edgy sense of humor, like this clip in which Pinky freaks out because JJ unfollowed him on social media. Like seriously, he freaks out. And then there's JJ on his phone. Did you notice that it has a pear on its back instead of the popular apple? But back to the point, JJ casually replies that he didn't unfollow him. Pinky then goes back to normal and just says that he thought he did. That's it. That's the clip. We have a feeling younger kids that don't really use social media won't really know how to translate this clip. Not to mention, they shouldn't use social media in the first place. Hello? Police? In the second episode of season one, Pinky volunteers at an animal shelter. It's actually kind of sweet to show that you can have bonds with animals from a shelter. This episode definitely encourages volunteering, which definitely heads in the right direction. Pinky ends up bringing home Peter the cat without even consulting his parents, who clearly hated the cat. In reality, kids should absolutely ask their parents before doing anything like this. Not to mention that it's hard to volunteer at an animal shelter if you're as young as Pinky is anyways. Pinky also talks back to his parents in a pretty rude way when they're trying to convince him that Peter the cat isn't right for him. But that wasn't even the joke. Pinky decides he's going to prove that Peter and him belong together, and that's when a random cop who we're assuming is Bab's dad, shows up in Pinky's room. The cat pretty much attacks everyone, and soon we see Babs's dad pretty much naked on a bed with the rest of the kids. They're obviously hiding from the vicious cat who ripped off dad's clothes. But maybe that scene is just a little bit inappropriate for the kids to see. Strange language. In the 13th episode of the first season, we learn that the kids play a weekly role-playing game and they really seem to be into it. But things go a little bit too far when we find out they also have their own language. Pinky reveals they made 87 different words for blood. Why would you even need that? Isn't that just a little bit too gory for kids? We also see the characters grunt in their own language, and honestly, it just looks 
looks a bit violent. We get that it's meant to be funny, but we have a feeling kids would be just as freaked out as the bus stop lady. Seriously, inventing a language like that and using it in public while intentionally scaring people is not okay. This is one of those moments that could definitely give kids a wrong impression. We get it. It's meant to be a joke, but is it really? Their language clearly scared a stranger. If this was real life, that stranger would be traumatized and the kids would get in trouble. We're sure you can find questionable humor in every single Pinky Malinky episode. Despite harsh criticism, it's a show you definitely have to get used to. Time will tell how well Pinky Malinky will go down with kids and whether the theme song will get stuck in their heads. Who knows? You might be singing Wiener over and over again soon. You can now enjoy the entire first season on Netflix. Make sure you check it out for yourself. Best part? The show will definitely stick around as season 2 is already in the works and confirmed by Netflix. Despite the harsh criticism, the show will without a doubt evolve and find its way into our hearts just like Gumball did. What do you think about Pinky Malinky? Are the jokes too mature for kids? Does the show teach the kids important life lessons? Or is it just something that's not that deep? And even like this! Come let us know in the comments section below. And that's it for our video. Don't forget to subscribe to The Things for more feel-good content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.